weird. But what are you guys again? Well, I'm a witch, so I guess that. Uh oh. Semi human. Bam! Oh, I love that. That's kind of cool. I like that. Semi human. Bam! Why do I feel like I just got interrupted? Cause you did. Oh, I want to be interrupted too. Da da da! Stray fox. Blam! <laughs> Joan looks like she wants to go back to sleep. You pause for a second, realizing you forgot the most important question. Where's the coffee? Wait, where should I go now? You're trying to ask Joan, but Nasiba immediately jumps in front of you. Oh, I know, I know. He lifts his nose up and closes his eyes. He looks incredibly focused. You think back to all those documentaries where dogs would follow a trail by scent alone. Without realizing it, you lean forward in anticipation. <laughs> he sneezes and turns. Come on, man. Turns back towards you apologetically. Uh. Sal, how did you see them? Oh, my bad. Okay, everybody say my bad. Maybe you should just wander around and hope for the best. Who knows where you are at this point? Clearly you don't. Quick save. You all gamelessly in circles a couple times without seeing a leaving, living or undead before eventually finding a hallway. Wow, these scenery is nice. You hear this <laughs> bones rattling skeleton boy. The distance you see the small frame of someone bent over on the background on the ground. The closer you approach the figure, the more you realize that rather than being someone who is made of skin and bones, they're just made of bones. Yeah, I don't know. You try to hide in your surprise as you, so you don't seem rude. The skeleton size. Just where did Seba throw it this time? Oh, he got your bone. Oh man, it's peppers. They appear to be searching for something, but come on aware of your presence nonetheless. Did Jones send you to... The skeleton shakes their head. Regardless, I could really use an extra set of eyes right now. Would you mind helping me out? Sure, man. You think to yourself that after you discompose, you might become a skeleton too. Maybe you should help them out in case you run into them later. Might as well. My eyes might not be that good, but an extra set of hands could work too, right? The skeleton's eyes are there for lack of bear of slide up. That would be fantastic. I feel fantastic. Feeling good right now. You feel the bony fingers wrap around your hand and what use is he gonna take my hand? <laughs> you have a bad feeling in your stomach. Yes. A left hand is such he's gonna chop my hand off. Boy! Oh, reload. I'll beat you. Bad end, you'll be alright. Bitch! I saved! <laughs> I. Oh. Give you. Oh, fuck. You're about to catch these hands. You try to chop my hand off. I could have lived with just one hand, though. Come on now. Don't act like I couldn't. Low game. Do I have to go into the game to quick save load? Yeah, I gotta look. Quick load game. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I'm trying to quick load. Okay. Okay, so the thing is, you can't be too nice to these people because they want to take your body parts. Well, I ought to whoop that ass. You rustle through your new bag and pull out a flashlight. You flip it on and point in the direction of the skeleton. Guess you could call this a light bulb moment. <laughs> Me slapper. You sweat nervously. Back home, your jokes typically fall flat, but he thought it was hilarious. You were about to apologize for making the pun, but you hear the bones rattle with laughter. Don't trust him, I'll cut your hand off. The skeleton literally cracked a smile. That would be fantastic. And I've never felt as good as I did right now, but no, 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 no. You paying the <laughs> flashlight. That's Jonathan Colton, a song I think that's what his name is. That's a good song. Around your immediate surroundings until half of the bony left arm is brought into view. The skeleton's eyes are lack of thereof. You take my hand again, I'm gonna beat your face. They quickly grab the appendage and fix it to their left elbow socket, flexing their hand a couple times to make sure it is in good condition. 
The skeleton grins. Thanks for illuminating the answer to my problem. <laughs> you stifle. I mean, <laughs> I guess that's how you stifle one. I guess I'm a bit bright. <laughs> the skeleton wants to <laughs> seems to be at a loss and switches topics. That's my kind. Of, these are my kind of humors. <laughs> it really hit my funny bone. <laughs> okay. I seem to have forgotten to introduce myself. My name is Marrow. Bone Marrow. Not Sans. Oh, that's not Papyrus, bro. He looks more like Papyrus. That's funny, though. I get the feeling that I've been vaguely insulted, but... I am... I hate him! And you are? Fluffy Panda, Paranormal Investigator at your service. You do a clumsy bow and hear a rattling laughter again. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's rare to find someone with good humors nowadays. <laughs> or good humorous. <laughs> I think that's a bone. <laughs> I'm so it doesn't work. Meryl pauses for a second before clapping their hands together with a sudden realization. Wait, paranormal investigator, you say? You might be the one helping with Sands. Yep, that's me. You give a tired laugh. That's me. Just your regular good old fashioned headhunter. <laughs> you give a slight sigh. Would have honestly, it would have been a lot better to know what you were getting into before signing a contract with a witch. You barely know. I told you not to shake her hand. Stop acting like you dang. F I didn't tell you that. I mean, you sure? <laughs> Quick save. You might get to encounter the paranormal. But this really wasn't the way you thought it was going to happen. Or what you thought they were going to be like. You look back and see that Marrow is in deep thought. You know, I may not talk to Hans that often, but he, because he is a unique personality. But I still care about him. Good for you. After all, we are the only two people in this house who have struggled with the <laughs> losing their heads occasionally. One of you wants to question what Marrow's definition of people is but you stop yourself since that'd probably be insensitive yeah you're kind of a dick Mayo's teeth start chattering nervously I may not be able to help much with searching since I don't want to run into Siba's contact intact but <laughs> well if you have any questions I'll be happy to help that means a lot thank you where to start Hans's personality What's weird about Hans's personality? What isn't weird about Hans? Uh, Myra closes their throat. I mean, well, he's a Dolahan. Dolahan. Dorahan from Monster Ranger 2. So the only special ability he had would be doing stuff without his head, but... But... I'm not sure if there's any way to... Other way to explain this to be quite frank. He talks about sealed power in his arm. Oh, he's a... Having a Dark Lord's eye fighting a secret society. He's a Chunibyo! <laughs> it all started when he started watching those animes. Animus. What do you call them? Those porn kid cartoons. Oh, he's my buddy then. We're comrades. You stare into the distance with a deep sense of emptiness. Those are classic signs of a Chunibyo. I <laughs> know. Awesome anime. You'd say that you aren't into it, but... Who are you kidding? Your hair is pink. My hair is orange, and it goes to pink. Thank you. You desperately want to switch topic. Let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. I want to talk more Animu with my new friend. Dolahan. Or Hans, that's his name. Were you always a skeleton? Were you always a human? Yes? No? Maybe so? The skeleton gives a soft, raspy chuckle before looking down. Honestly, I don't remember anything before I was at this mansion. If I was happy, if I had a family, what I look like. Am I a decomposed human? Or was I just created this way? Or maybe my life was just that insignificant. You want to offer some consolation, but the words seem to be caught in your throat. Marrow might physically just be a mass of bones, but you feel that he, they still have a heart. Ah, sorry. I got way off track. Do you have any other questions? I got one more for you, bud. Should I ask about glasses? This isn't necessarily re relevant, but why do you wear glasses if you're a skeleton? So he can see. I mean, no offense, but you don't have eyes. 
I can see why you might think that, but... Narrow points towards the top of their skull, excitedly. See that crack? Yes. It's lightning shaped, right? Oh my god, he's a wizard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but what does that have to do with... Well, you see, Iris lent me some biography books, and he found out he's a wizard, Harry. And in one of them, there was a famous wizard who has glasses and a lightning scar. Wow, that's so cool! <laughs> you don't have the heart to tell them that that's fictional. <laughs> and this scar's in the wrong place! I wonder if this Irish person messes with Hans frequently. I mean, Mara frequently. Oh, before I forget, where did you last see Hans? Let's see. I think he was heading to the libraries to look up sewing capes. But he's a very impulsive individual, so I wouldn't be surprised if he changed his mind somewhere along the way. You groan. Ugh! <laughs> Keep down such an unpredictable person. Slowly becoming more and more of a pain. We have to do it for the anime... Anime... F bond. Mara notices that you are distraught and hurriedly tries to lighten the mood. I, I might not know where the Hans is, but I certainly know where the library is. Let's see. Maro fiddles with their fingers, popping one part off and putting it back on again while lost in thought. Yes, yes. I believe that if you continue straight down this hallway and knock on the right door a couple times, you should it should get you there all in one piece. They give you a weak smile. Mystic libraries grow more fickle at times, so be sure you follow the directions properly, okay? You nod in picking up your bag set off. And what you assume to be the right direction. Oh, quick save! <laughs> Just as instructed, you continue down the hallway. It's quite a long stretch, so you observe the details around you to pass the time. Cobblestone. Marble. The floor materials seem to shift with every step you take. But maybe it's just your imagination. Soon enough, you find a sequence of doors. Oh, we're gonna follow Mallory's advice, of course. You figure that if anyone knows what to do to get to the library, it'd be someone who lives here. If you're knocking on the right door, the middle door opens. Uh, did he say to open the? Hmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. You feel torn, but help the right door is some sort of pun for being the right door. Your logic makes no sense. Fight me! Regardless, you stick to your decision, nervously tug on the door in front of you. It swings open, thankfully revealing the library. You heave, you heave a sigh of relief and walk in. What a nice library. Hans? Hans? Hello? Is anybody there? Well, I'm a kitty person now. You met by silence and quietly laugh at yourself. Gosh. This dude lives a sad life. <laughs> Why well, you may be amazed at how many volumes of books there are on this floor alone. Dun, dun, dun. What's config do? Maybe I can turn on the sound. Ah, uh, let's go! It's a miracle. There we go. That's more. That's more better. Mo better. You don't want to spend too much time here if there are no leads be pretty useful for us investigation later maybe oh it's a kitty cat a cat hit it with the flashlight oh, aren't you a sweetheart uh oh now you kneel down and pet it gently it purrs and rubs against your hand get away from the cat you notice the collar what's your name lifting up the cat's head you check the name tag it's smeared <laughs> Meow. The cat quickly slips from your grasp and dashes out of one of the library doors before you can act. We're not following it. Wait, wait, wait. Stumbling back to your feet. You chase after it, <sighs> exiting through the same door. Not like this. You aren't sure how far the cat managed to go. Come on, man. But you're hoping that it might lead you to someone or something important. You tripped on something, but with super ninja, cool ninja skills, you don't fall down. You glance back, wondering what it... Wondering what it was, only to see a dead bo- Oh, it's a zombie. A dead body. First a missing head, now you have to solve a murder? Maybe it's a zombie. Oh, who would have known? Who knows? You don't judge. You can't fully see who it is because they're face down on the floor. You look pretty pale. Are you okay? 
I feel faint. Mm. Offer tomato. <laughs> 